Hi, Mark Lewis with Dark Controls. Today we're going to talk about installing our PU series pickup. So let's look first at uh, how it comes packaged when you receive it. This is a, a, a pick, PU series pickup. You'll notice it comes with a plug on the end. What that does is hold all the hardware together. There's a, a spacer that may or may not be needed. If we remove this cap, we'll see the rest of the assembly inside. You may notice there's a number 20 on the magnet. Uh, that is the number of magnetic poles in the magnet disc. Since we need a north and a south pole to create one pulse, this is a 10 pulse output magnet. So let's take this apart. So. Uh, inside, you'll see the bearing is exposed on both sides. There's a washer that sits on the face of the bearing, then the magnet disc, and then the bolt goes through everything to the shaft where it's being installed. I just want to show you there's a little Teflon insert in the threads of the bolt. Uh, that helps to hold it in place. We used to use Loctite but found that that didn't work very well. So this is a 1032 screw and what we need to install it is a hole that's half an inch deep threaded for a 1032. Typically where we would like to see this installed would be on the back of the motor. So this is a uh, totally enclosed fan cooled DC motor and in the fan guard, usually there's a plug in the center that can be removed and the end of the shaft then is exposed. There's already a centering hole here so it makes it uh, easier to drill and tap. And a trick is uh, to actually hold the drill and the, uh, and the bit uh, steady and actually slowly rotate the motor. That's a great way to uh, drill and tap the motor. We like to have it on the back of the motor because it's a relatively high RPM uh, shaft. In general we want to have as many pulses as possible to work with with whatever device whether it's a microdrive, an ASP, or one of our tachometers. Now sometimes it's not easy or even uh, possible to install the PU on the back of the motor. So other options are on the output shaft side or the working side of the motor. If you can get it uh, on, a, um, on, on a, uh, a chain sprocket, on a pulley, just about anything that's uh, rotating. But again, there are some uh, minimum and maximum pulse rates that are needed for our digital devices to work well with the PU series. Uh, we even see it installed on a wheel that may be riding on a web of material if we're feeding uh, or taking up or feeding off of a roll and want to keep a constant speed on the web. We'd love to help you with your application. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 317-873-5211 Visit our website www.darkcontrols.com or now you can even chat with us. Thank you.